When I first heard that Rambo was being inducted into the New England Hall of Fame, I thought, shit, eight hours in a car with eight farting guys. But I actually thought, I finally get to spend, see someone get appreciation for something they deserve. How appropriate it is for them to have such an event to recognize people like John that dedicate their whole lives to our sport. His endless drive, passion, and dedication to this business has given, it, given him the opportunity to run the Neil Superior School of Pro Wrestling. His continued success in the sport has been a major reason why the memory of a fallen brother will live forever. Through the school, John and Neil's dad, Dick Karakoff, have done a stellar job with helping the local kids, kids of all walks of life, find the purpose and direction through the opportunities given to them through our business. John's training in and out of the ring, such as how he's been a wrestler, referee, manager, stooging, ring crew, or even working audio visual, give these kids a feeling of self-worth and a reason to stay off the streets. He provides an awesome environment for these kids to learn as well as discover what it takes to make your life successful. I asked a couple of people that are close to him to send us, send us some words that couldn't be here tonight. Head, tram, head tricker Sam Moose said, John trained with my dad many years ago and has been a family friend and a big brother to me to this day. It hurts me and my family not to be there on this special night and trust me when I say, if there was any way possible, I'd be there. Kudos to the New England Hall of Fame and to John Rambo on behalf of the whole family. Congratulations, my friend, on your special day. You deserve every bit of it. Dick Karakoff. Dick Karakoff said this, when my son tragically passed away in 1996, I brought John back from the West Coast to take over the Superior Pro Wrestling School in 1997. Since that time, John has done, a, done more with the wrestling school than anybody could ever imagine. He started the NWL Sisters League, the House of Pain Wrestling Federation, and has offered the fans over a thousand free wrestling shows to enjoy on a weekly basis. John could have done many things to advance his own personal career, but he opted to stay in Hagerstown, Maryland to keep Neil's dream alive and going to help to make the NWL and the House of Pain one of the premier independent wrestling organizations in this business. I do not look at John as a wrestler, or a booker, or a trainer. I look him look at him just like a son because I know he's been and always will be there for me, the NWL, and the House of Pain, just as I always will be there for him. I would, I would like to thank the New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame Committee for their selection of John Rambo, the first NWL, NWL heavyweight champion back in 1989. We are very proud of him and look forward to much more fun times with him in the House of Pain and NWL. I personally... 13 years ago, I showed up at John's doorstep with a bag and said, can I wrestle? And he said, eh, what the fuck, get in the ring. So I did. 15 years later, here I am, and I've done six or 700 matches for him alone. And I tell you what, every time you walk in the locker room, it's a family, just like this whole place is a family. When guys move from the East Coast to the West Coast, and they have nothing, like I did. I found myself a family. Thank you, John. My name is Corey Bush, and I've been one of John Rambo's students for five years. And when I walked into his door, I wasn't even finished high school yet. I was a 17-year-old kid who thought he could get in a ring and be a superstar. So those times in your life where you meet people that you just can't get around. You can't talk your way around them. You can't run through them. You just have to stop to listen to what they have to say. It's been one of the greatest honors of my life to have to stop and listen to somebody tell me how to be. Because I was a kid when I walked through that door. But today, staring you here in front of all these people and getting the respect that you deserve, I want to thank you for making me the man I am today. From the guys in the back and all the guys at home, we want to thank you for the most precious gift any of us has ever gotten. The ability to stand in front of a group of people and be counted. The ability to stand in that ring and do what we love. The ability to stand in front of a group of people and say that we're wrestlers. We're men, and we're here to entertain you for tonight. So sit your ass in those seats, pay your tickets, because the show's on the way. John Rambo, for the free shows at the school and the paid shows that you've run endless around the area, we want to say thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, John Rambo. This was a real honor for me. Uh, I'm going to keep this real quick too if I can. Uh, 
If it wasn't for this business, a uh, business that I love and that just amazes me and fascinates me with the bad things that always does get brought up in this business, it doesn't even measure to the wonderful great times, the, the wonderful people, the places you do get to travel. I remember before I even got in this business watching guys like Larry, Danny Davis, uh, Jimmy Snuka, Mr. Tim White on TV uh, entertaining us all. I got into this business uh, through the help of Rocky Johnson off of the Wild Samoan. Uh, they started me off, I got my breakdown in Memphis, Tennessee, where I got to travel that circuit down there. I met Joseph Alley before I even got in the business in Manhattan through uh, Rocky Johnson. A real honor, just the people I've gotten to meet. I got to travel the South Pacific and play chess uh, along right on the uh, poolside with Larry Zabisco. If you remember that, Larry traveling Guam, Saipan, Panape, all the wonderful places. I got to travel the I-5 corridor from Portland, Oregon, up to Vancouver, British Columbia, and wrestle Jimmy Superfly Snuka for the NWA ECCW heavyweight title. A real honor that was traveling with you out there, Jimmy. Coming back to the East Coast, working with you here as well. Uh, just some wonderful, wonderful times. Uh, the, the past Hall of Fame inductees, uh, the late, great, wonderful uh, Dave Fox. Uh, Dan Biondi's here, Dr. Harris, he's getting inducted tonight. A lot of you guys, I know a lot of fans out there aren't familiar with who I am, but a lot of you wrestlers many years ago used to travel down to our way down there, and they uh, got you get a lot of experience, a lot of exposure, uh, really helped and also helped out my product. But uh, all I'd like to say in closing is this is a wonderful business. It, it's, it's a great, great business if you take it uh, for the way it was meant to be. Uh, the people you'll meet, wonderful people. If it wasn't for this business, I wouldn't have met my wonderful better half over there, Kathy. Just, just a real honor, Joe. I want to thank you again for uh, recognizing and honoring what we do down there. I don't just consider this my uh, award. I consider this something for uh, the NWL, the House of Pain, Dick Karakoff, Neil Karakoff, and all my guys, and every other pro wrestler in the business. Thank you very much. Yeah.